Olaf's Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney, but why? Had they gotten too wet? Were they left out to dry? Elsa was sleeping all snug in her bed, while gl glittering northern lights danced overhead. Anna snored softly while I counted sheep, settling myself in for a cozy night's sleep. When out on the fjord there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I tumbled and rolled. I pushed out the shutters and brr, it was cold. A full moon was out and it lit up the night while snow flurries made the world sparkly and white. Then grabbing an icicle, what did I spy? Eight little spens flying high in the sky. The spens pulled a sleigh. There was someone inside. Could Sven and his Kristoff be out for a ride? Straight toward the castle, the flying sled came while the man was it Kristoff called out some strange names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the turret and over the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. He sounded so funny. Who was this big guy? What was a turret and how could Sven fly? And then with a ringing, I heard on the roof, the thumping and bumping of each little hoof. Then from behind me, there came a strange sound and the whole chimney shook as two feet hit the ground. His boots were all black and his pants were all red. But where was the rest of him? Where was his head? Then out of the fireplace, the man's face appeared. He had kind crinkly eyes and a fluffy white beard. Kristoff, he wasn't. This man smelled too nice. Like snowballs and cookies and Christmassy spice. He placed a large bag filled with gifts on the floor. Was a sale going on at the old Ogin's big store? He brushed off his clothes, then began to unpack. Passing for crun cake left out as a snack. This stranger had presents for Anna and Sven, for Kristoff, for Elsa, for all of my friends. I reached for his coat and gave two little tugs and said, my name's Olaf and I like warm hugs. He turned with a start and then let out such a giggle. I had to laugh too when I saw how he jiggled. He gave me a hug, such a wonderful gift. Then he rose up the chimney all lively and swift. And I heard him call out as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. 
and to all a good night. The end.